Hi, Al here with a quick update about uh, version 1.1 or 1.2.2 of my Google Meet attendance extension. Yes, I've posted another update. I'll get to that one in just a couple of moments. Those of you who have experienced some problems with the update from uh, from version 1.1 or earlier, um, when, you, when the update, update was created, uh, it should have made a copy of all of your class lists, but that may not have happened. Rest assured that all of your uh, all of your class information is there. To a text file that was saved to your downloads directory. So, just to give you an example, I'm going to delete this class list. If you want to delete it, and I'm going to go to the icon here, and you click, and then I'm going to click on the folder which will allow me to import things from either a text file or one of your previously saved HTML reports. Now I'm going to pick this one, and it's not going to work properly. It's going to tell me that there were no classes in the file. The reason there are no classes in that particular version of the file is that I actually uninstalled my extension while I was testing it and then reinstalled it. And be very cautious that when you uninstall, um, the extension, it will delete all of the information associated with it. So all of your class lists, all of the, all of that, all of those details will get uh, scrubbed immediately and there's basically nothing I can do about that. Fortunately, before I uninstalled it, I had a backup from a previous day. Here's my backup from yesterday. Click that file, click open, and it will now tell me that one of the classes was imported. Here, you can see now that my class has been restored, and it will do that for all of your classes that uh, that may have been obliterated. The other thing that is included in is you can actually read the uh, information from a previously saved HTML report. If, for example, your your class list was polluted; you forgot to change the uh, um, change the class name, and a whole bunch of students joined, and now your now your list is all messed up. You can find one of your reports from some time ago, report, and, and it will be import, It will replace the names that are currently there. It doesn't try and do any mergers, or it simply replaces all of the names that are currently in that file. Okay. Uh, you may have noticed uh, when the, the, the subtle change in version one point two point two is. It change to a class that's really large. The bottom of the longer fall off the bottom of the screen and in fact as you move uh, the, uh, the dialog on the screen the maximum height of the of the field will dynamically update so that you cannot get it off the screen. If you've got a small class well then there's an issue, an issue. The uh, dialog will assume the the maximum height that uh, that it needs, but uh, if you do have a, a longer list, uh, you can now scroll scroll through all of those uh, all of those kids. There. You also see uh, a little visual uh, update that I've uh, introduced in uh, the 1.2. Uh, this is just a working prototype at this point. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, teachers did ask if there was a way that we could, or if I could uh, record participation in the class. And so this little icon on the left, if you click on it, see the zero changed from a one to a two to a three, et cetera, et cetera. So I guess the, the use case is uh, during class, you can you know, click on the kids as they, as they respond, as they, as they participate. Uh, at this point, I caution you that the information is not being saved. It is just a working prototype. In fact, it shouldn't even be visible um, until we're we're in the meet. So these little, little uh, waving characters will uh, will be hidden until you join the meet. Then you'll click, 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 and the information will then get saved and incorporated into the reports. But again, that hasn't been added yet. Um, some other subtle changes. Um, the uh, uh, the settings dial a uh, settings button. They would have done the settings up to the uh, up to the top of the dialog. In the um, drop down list, I've added an option for history, which really just gives you the same functionality that you get from uh, this button. In the settings, I have made some significant changes in terms of the way that the the data is stored. Um, 
again, inadvertently when uh, when I was uh, going to the version uh, 1.1, I guess it was 1.0, um, the uh, the data structure, the the class lists were were getting larger than permitted by uh, Google in their sync data repository. My variable, your variables were getting large, in particular when you had uh, large classes, and it prevented um, names from being added to classes. And so one thing I did was change the way that the class lists are stored. And, uh, and that's what sort of precipitated perhaps the loss of lists in the, uh, in the most recent update. Uh, but I've also given you the option of where those class lists are saved. If they are saved in the sync repository, the Google sync repository, uh, hidden under the covers, uh, it means that there's a maximum file size or maximum size for any data structure. Uh, if they're stored in the, the local repository, then there is uh, effectively no limit on that uh, that storage size. Uh, the one trade-off, though, is if you have the local option selected, well, then your class lists will live on the machine um, that you're currently using to create those class lists. If you take attendance from a different machine, then you won't have those class lists anymore. If you have the sync option enabled, well, then yes, your class lists will follow you, follow you from one computer to the other. Uh, but you will be limited in terms of the, the size of the classes. Now, I've changed the way that the classes are saved, and in theory, that should be able to uh, uh, accommodate much more, much larger classes in the sync, uh, in the sync storage repository. Repository, but at least uh, you do have the option now. Um, another option that was introduced: uh, a group asked, or some a school asked, whether it be uh, possible to disable the attendance taking feature by default. And so if I select this checkbox and then close the uh, settings, you'll see that the, uh, this little toggle button is now white, meaning that the attendance has been disabled. So if you start a meet, it will not take attendance. Um, and when you relaunch uh, the, uh, uh, the extension or relaunch Chrome, the, uh, by default, the, uh, the attendance feature will be turned off. Now, if you have it turned off and you do want to take attendance, join your meet and attendance will be taken. But again, the next time you reload your, uh, uh, reload Chrome, the, the option will be disabled. Um, whereas with this one, default be enabled and you can then the attendance off so that it won't be taken during the meet. But then again, you have to uh, uh, re-enable it or re-disable it the next time you, uh, you load Chrome. The last thing, that was introduced and really big changes. I don't have an awful lot of data in this particular um, profile, but you can see that I now have a, a history of all of your uh, meets moving forward. There is no historical, I don't, there isn't a, an import capability. So uh, this is just moving forward at this point. But what this allows you to do, well, I can click on the, uh, on the meet, the parameters associated with the meet. I can change the, the name, I can change the start time or the end time of the meet. Um, I can even if I don't want, want it around anymore. I can select multiple entries and then I can actually recreate the HTML files for those uh, for those classes or I create the, uh, the CSV files for them as well. Um, all of this will be automatically updated um, as you go, so you don't have to hit any buttons or anything like that. These, when you start a new meet, a new entry will be created in this in this table, and uh, all of the attendance information will be updated automatically. So that if you lose the HTML file, if you, uh, you know, in theory, you shouldn't be able to, shouldn't be able to forget to save it. But if for whatever reason that the file doesn't get created, the information is now stored here. Um, I've got a couple other placeholder buttons. Um, I, I envisage that uh, the it'll make sense. It would make sense to have the uh, the the summarizing capability in this dialog rather than in the HTML reports. Um, but I haven't had a chance to build that. And I also have a placeholder button that would conceivably allow you to pull in your HTML reports from from the past and uh, put them into this repository as well, so that you could then have the uh, um, 
the the summarizing capabilities and and regeneration and 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 um, again the the important thing here is that this information will be saved into the the local storage variable associated with uh, with this uh, device if you uninstall and then reinstall the extension that information will be lost that's just the way that extensions work that when you uninstall it all of the associated data gets uh, gets removed so be a, just a, a caution about that um i think that's about it um, some other bug fixes in the HTML reports. Uh, you can now use the summary button again or the summarize button again. It does work properly so that it will allow you to aggregate uh, reports across multiple days. Um, it will work for version 1 files and version 1.1 and higher files. I haven't had the time to go back and, and uh, make sure that everything works with uh, files that were created um, earlier than uh, the earlier than this year, this this academic year. Um, thanks, and uh, thanks for your continued support. I apologize if I'm not responding to uh, to emails and messages as quickly as uh, in the past, perhaps. But uh, like you, I'm a I'm a teacher, and I'm busy, and uh, and I can only do uh, so much during uh, during the day. Uh, if I do get uh, snarky or cranky with my replies, um, please. Forgive that. It's probably I'm tired and I had a I'd had a bad day. Um, take care. Stay safe, and uh, thank you for your uh, continued interest in my little extension.